All right, we are... Well, I was going to say we're back on Garden Warfare 2, but this is actually the Garden Warfare 2 tier list. Highly acclaimed, highly requested, and by highly acclaimed and highly requested, I mean it's highly requested by myself. I've been wanting to do an actual Garden Warfare 2 tier list pretty much ever since I made this channel. I did characters I could beat in a fight, which was just kind of like for laughs and giggles. But now this is a legit Garden Warfare 2 tier list. So, a um, few things to get out of the way first. This is my opinion based on characters I play, like, prefer... And then, obviously, some of, like, the undisputed top tier up here. Um, and also, this isn't, like, completely accurate, because some characters haven't played in, like, freaking three or four years. So, some of this might change around. Some of this might not even be accurate to my own taste or how good actual characters are in the game. In fact, I'm actually looking at it right now and, and thinking maybe I should adjust it, which maybe I will. But just to start off... Um, the very, very top tier, the best character in Garden Warfare 2 is obviously, <laughs> is obviously Power Cactus. Power Cactus is God's gift to the Earth. Um, just the best character in Garden Warfare 2. Power Pickle Superiority, man. Just the best, best overall character in Garden Warfare 2. Now we have the SS tier, which is, these are the broken, busted characters that pretty much everybody plays. Actually, kind of tempted to move the corns up here because corns are like seriously overpowered. Um, what about the rest of these characters? Is computer scientist broken? No, I don't think he's broken, but he's really good. I don't think Electropy's broken. Wait, no, see, the thing with Electropy is I don't think he's broken, I just think he's really easy to play. So, anybody with like a tiny bit of skill just makes him seem like he's really good, but he's easily countered by just, like, a freaking stun. It's a 125 health pea shooter. I mean, like, just wait for him to have hyper run out, stun him, and then kill him. It's like, I mean, yeah, SS tier, broken characters, Law P, Agent P, Plasma P, I think. Three, like, this tier, this tier isn't really ordered. If it was, it would probably be something like this, and then, like, that maybe it would probably be something like that but this tier isn't completely ordered none of this is completely ordered except park act is sitting on top so agent p that's self-explanatory he's one of the bus most busted characters in the game along with z7 law p plasma p super commando both of the P corn and party corner up here and astronaut astronaut actually gets really slept on astronaut is probably probably like top three best zombies in the game just from like this SS tier I have here. He's probably like top three or four best zombies in the game. Astronaut is absolutely disgusting. So now moving on down to S tier, we have at the top of that Electropy. Pretty self-explanatory, pretty busted. Um, Future Cactus hits like 102 damage for a headshot, so that's a no-brainer. Uh, Superhero and Party Brains, they're both up here. I think they're very good characters. Superhero is just pretty overpowered in my opinion. He was actually done right to be nerfed. We have Captain Deadbeard and Party Man. They're basically the same character, and I think they're very, very good. And by the way, these aren't ordered. If this was ordered, I'd probably have this guy up here, and then, like, the scientists up more. But, yeah, they're not ordered. I'm not going to take my time to do that. We'd be here all day. Then we have Arctic Trooper. Pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it's a freaking... The fact that he has a rapid-fire weapon like that, that can freeze people, is just so overpowered. Scuba Soldier, probably like top three soldiers. Um, Marine Bio, Peter Scientist, Party Imp, Stock Imp, all really good characters. Now we're moving down to the average tier. These are characters that are just average. Like, I mean, they're not, they're not bad. They're not really good, but you can get high kill games with these characters and it wouldn't be too difficult. Also, I don't know why I put him in decent. I think he's average. So at the top of average tier, we're just going top to bottom. This is not in order. We have Hovergo and then Toxic Brains. I think they're average characters. I think people overhype Toxic Brains a lot. He's honestly not that good without his meter. And if you're in a lobby with any chompers or close range characters, getting that meter is going to be impossible. I mean, I guess like if you're on turf, you could just farm face weeds, but I mean, other than that, like, he's he's just kind of mid. He's just average. Then we have Party Citron and Citron. Most of the Roses are here. I think Frost Rose is really good. I think she's really slept on. I think Party Rose is pretty good. 
way better than stock because you actually get party time and those like few extra bullets you're missing don't really hurt the character that much then necros i think she's pretty good i don't think she's s tier though mob cob basically just colonel corn pops corn stock pea shooter stock sunflower all these sunflowers are really good really good sunflowers we have cactus fire cactus petrified cactus cactus is heavily slept on i think cactus is a class that's heavily slept on in general Cactus is probably one of the best classes in this game. Just because of the insane damage that she can output. The problem is, is that her ability set just kind of sucks. So that's why I can't really have a Cactus higher than Average Tier except Future Cactus. And obviously, our Lord and Savior Power Cactus. Moving on, so then we have Torchwood. I think he's just an average character. He gets bundled too easily. Too big of a target. It's the same thing with when you spawn a Z-Mac. You just instantly get targeted and then it's no fun. Pylon Omp. Island Omp. Pylon Imp, I think he's pretty good. Scally. Both really good characters. Captain Cannon, I think he's heavily overrated, so that's why I have him an average and not S. We have Tank Commander, General Supremo, Camo Ranger, Sky Trooper, Centurion, and Park Ranger. I think they're both, both, all of them are average foot soldiers. I don't think they're really good, but I think they're pretty solid. Mechanic, Painter, and Stock Engineer, Landscaper, and Sanitation Expert are up in average tier. I think they're better than most of the other Engineers, but Engineer as a class isn't really that strong. Then we have Dr. Toxic, Physician, Paleontologist, and Iron Citron. Iron Citron is also another overhyped character. I don't think he's really that good. Without his mode, and especially without reload upgrades, he's basically useless. And once you get them, he kind of just becomes mid. Now I have Decent. This is just like... You can get away with playing these characters, but none of them are really good. Chemist is super overrated. Um, these all-stars are better than most of the all-stars. Zoologist is also pretty overrated. Archaeologist is kind of just... I mean, he's a scientist, so he's still really good. Both of the um, special chompers up here, Twilight and Unicorn, because they have the warp, so that makes them much better. Twilight's just a direct upgrade of Unicorn, in my opinion. Yeah, Electro Brains, Cosmic Brains. I think Cosmic Brains is actually a pretty good character, but he's not He's not A tier. He's definitely not S tier. Electro Brains, after the nerfs, he's just... Like, he's just meh. Moving down to okay, we have... Just okay characters. Like, you're not gonna, you're not gonna perform well with these characters, but... You can play them. They're still playable. It's just kind of a chore. So we have Electro Citron, Toxic Citron. I think they're both kind of on the same level. I think Electro Citron is better. I don't think he's bad. I don't think he's nearly unplayable. I was actually debating putting Rock P in almost unplayable, and I'm actually going to put him down there because he sucks. He's actually better than Armor Chopper. But back to C tier. So we have Druid Rose. I just think she's just so mid. Her DPS is not like you literally have to use a whole clip and then some just to kill one person. It's honestly not worth it. And then obviously she's a rose, so her abilities just kind of suck. Um, now we have Barbecue Corn. I think he's just mid. He has really good chip damage. I'm actually... Yeah, I'm going to move him up to decent. I don't know why I put him in okay. I think he's decent. Um, Fire P, Ice P. Most of the elemental P shooters suck. These two just kind of suck. Toxic P and Electric P are way better. Um, Count Champula is pretty decent. His gimmick helps him a lot. Yeti Chomper, he can at least shoot, so that makes him a lot better than most of the Chompers. Then we have Ice Cactus. She's just kind of mid. Her time to kill is too slow. Her freeze time is pretty decent, but her time to kill is just far too slow to make her viable for a sniper. Shark Bite's just, like, what is his gimmick? It's just splash damage. Why do you need splash damage with the sniper? And then he does, like, no actual base damage. It's just mid. Breakfast Brains is mid. He takes too long to charge up his punches, but I mean, he can, he can work. You can play him. It's not like he's trash. Rody Z is actually just not as good as people say. Very gimmicky, very reliant on the Turbo Jackhammer, and if you don't have it, you're basically screwed and not going to kill anybody. Although he is armored, so that does help him a li little bit. These are some of the better All-Stars here. We have just Stock All-Star. I think this is... Rugby? Yeah, this is Rugby. This is... Is this hockey? No, this is rugby. This is cricket. This is baseball. Yeah, this is baseball and this is golf star. They're pretty decent. I mean, they're not as good as these three, but they're still decent. All the choppers are here except the warping choppers. Even Hot Rod, I don't think he's that good. Not enough health to have survivability. For chopper, you need that health for survivability, so he's just bad. AC Perry's bad. His DPS is just awful. 
Oh, both these all-stars just kind of suck. This guy's quicker, so yeah, maybe that can help, and he can he can get rid of abilities for a minute, but like other than that, like he's just a glorified support character. He's not that good. Um, wrestling star, just meh. Like he he's all right, but he's not as good as these guys, and definitely not as good as these three. And then Camo Cactus is just trash. Like Camo Cactus is terrible. We can all admit that. She's very situational. Like I would move her up to here if we were talking strictly turf, but if we're just talking the game in general. She's just bad. Because in turf, like, at least you can you can camp and kill people. Like, from really far away, because the maps are huge. But, like, no. A any other game mode, she's just bad. Honestly, almost unplayable in most game modes. So, we're going to the middle ground. We're just putting her in bad. And then, here is the absolute most garbage characters in this entire game. And, Dromo, please, the worst character in this game is Captain Squawk. He's awful. He's absolutely terrible. And then we have Rock P. Captain Squawk's DPS is just horrible. He does 49 damage a shot, so you have to three-shot someone, which takes like five seconds because the reload speed isn't even fast enough. The damage output is just terrible. The toxic aura is useless, and even his flamethrower or whatever is, the DPS is terrible compared to the rest of the pirates. He's just garbage. And then Rock P, it feels like I'm aiming a freaking... I don't know what I'm aiming. I feel like I'm aiming like a... Uh... A thing that's hard to aim. I can't come up with a good analogy for him because he's just so garbage. You know what? Actually, we're adding a uh, rock P. We're adding a rock P tier because he's just that awful. Yeah, so this is my Garden Warfare 2 tier list. You can feel free to screenshot if you want and make fun of me on the internet. I don't really care. Um, I'm gonna zoom out a bit more. There, now you can see the whole thing. That's my tier list. Um, let me know what you think of it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, leave a comment. Share this with everybody in your Discord DMs, and I will see you later. Bye.